Hi everyone. So let's uh, now discuss uh, something about uh, Oil India Limited. That is a Navaratna company and uh, you know Assam based company and it is uh, a prestigious oil sector in India. Nowadays interviews are going. Uh, I think students have got the calls for interview. So your PD has already provided the document. It's already there on our website. You can take that document. And uh, for going for the interview, uh, especially for HR, you should be very thorough with kind of questions they will ask you from this particular uh, uh, company. So visiting the website. So largely the information which I've taken is from uh, internet sources, from uh, website of uh, Oil India Limited. Uh, I advise you to go through this document first. And you will get an idea what is to be read, what is not to be read. Important information is already there related to the company. And uh, you should also visit the website because there may be some information which will be more important for you. So please go through that uh, website also. So let me now share with you uh, the document of uh, Oil India and then we discuss on the basis of this. Okay, so uh, Oil India Limited Navaratana Public Sector Company. Uh, this part taken from Wikipedia is, you know, second largest Indian government owned hydrocarbon exploration and production corporation. These kind of informations are relevant, you know, and this also comes under Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. So you should see where it is mentioned as a company on the website of Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. So where is the headquarter? Headquarter is in Dulyajan, uh, Assam. So you should know where is the headquarter. Uh, uh, of this and also in Noida. So we'll uh, read in detail what is there uh, uh, in uh, Assam and what is there in Noida. So that is, we will go through that. When was this company fo founded? So 1959. And you know, uh, this is the uh, Digbo is very, very important point, uh, very, very important place in Assam from there where, where this all started. Numaligad Refinery Limited, NRL. Uh, pehle uska interview hua tha, Numali ka. So that is the subsidiary of Oil India Limited. So this uh, dig boy, why this name dig boy and uh, these kind of questions are normally asked. I have given the answers to these questions in the document. So this is the second largest Indian government owned hydrocarbon exploration and production corporation. And this it comes under the Ministry of Petroleum and headquarters is in this. So remember this particular thing. Uh, and you, there are corporate offices also in Noida and uh, Guwahati and Jodhpur. So if you are from Uttar Pradesh, they might ask you related to that. Now, uh, this is, you know, the business of exploration, development of production of the crude oil and natural gas transportation of crude oil. Uh, so these are the you know, some business domains in which oil India is working. Uh, discovery of crude oil in India dates back to 1889. So there's a story is related to this. Uh, this was a second in the world in Far East for, you know, this uh, uh, British at that time and uh, Digbo is the place and Nahar Katiya. Digbo and Nahar Katiya, these are the two places from where this all started, 1889. This entire thing started from there. I'll show, so, show you some more photographs also related to this. And uh, then there are nine locations presently where it is operating and you should know these uh, locations also. And uh, Oil India acquired the, you know, uh, NRL shares, majority of the shares, which BPCL was earlier having. Now, you know, if you go on the website, you will find the vision and mission kind of uh, statements, vision, mission of company. So what is our main objective and what is our vision that is normally uh, it is asked. So Oil India uh, is the fastest growing energy company. Uh, with very high profitability. So when he asks you the question, why you want to join Oil India as a company, you need to tell something, you know, in the praise of this company, you can take the points from here. You can always say, sir, Oil India is a prestigious Navratana company and it is the fastest growing energy company with the highest profitability. What about if it is made uh, private? So you can always say, sir, the policy of the government is that it will not be made, if it is a profit making, it will not be made uh, you know, uh, private or something like that. You can always talk exploration and production. It was formed by uh, Burma uh, oil Burma. You know, Burma is Myanmar actually. Uh, I think it's the same Burma Oil Company Limited. Uh, earlier, it was formed by this as its subsidiary in 1887 to explore the oil from Assam Basin. So there's a story that, uh, you know, this staff was there and they identified that there's a oil on the feet of elephant. They identified that there's a oil in the vicinity of Big Boy village. And that is how it all started. So this all the information uh, you should go through. 
and uh, exploration of hydrocarbon uh, through drilling uh, at that time was just that time just initiated so this was the first oil even in the ongc iocl interview sometimes they ask you which is the first oil field in india dig boy and why it is called dig boy so that uh, questions normally is asked uh, so it was the oil india became the first uh, oil production company right so you know, company produced this much capacity if they ask you about the capacity and all so that you should know and uh, in the northeastern part nrl and uh, oil india is largely concentrated there so it is also exploring other domains other uh, states also uh, new explorations are going on in that area also hundreds of years of experience in the field of oil and gas production uh, since 1889 so it's a very very old experience this company has so uh, the area not only in india it is also concentrating in uh, foreign countries so you should know where otherwise also it is having and uh, it emerged as the uh, offshore giant uh, gas field project in mozambique also they got it so uh, northeast as i told you it is uh, having significant presence in that region so company operates crude oil pipeline from duliajan to uh, baranoj in bihar so you should also know that how it is this belt is uh, from which place to which place and this is the uh, you know if you go on net you will find this is the, the one of the oldest photograph of digboi assam oil well that is the first oil well in india if you go on the website the font is very small here because i could not get better photograph from the website so if you go on the website of oil india i advise you to please uh, go through and uh, read this thing this is a very very important thing this is the same thing which i am going to mention otherwise also but it is the thing which is mentioned on the website of oil india so i want and i recommend you to go through this and read this take this document also if you can read but it is very very small font i don't know whether you will be you will be in position to read uh, but you can read this from the website this is already there as far as the history is concerned this company was founded in 1959 a registered office in assam and uh, burma oil company uh, uh, earlier it was the owner of this oil india and in spring 1961 became the publicly listed company Uh, in 1981 government of india acquired 100% equity interest in the company so presently government of india is having 100% equity uh, in, in this company uh, so this company was created to exploit your know, nahar katia and northeastern region uh, to exploit uh, exploit the resources there uh, oil resources uh, so there was uh, now gas power plant was completed in duliajan assam in 1961 so some developments these two diagram these two photographs will explain you that uh, 1889 first oil first well number 1 means first well in india was you know uh, they started to work on this in 1889 so that information you can get here and uh, there there is some, some pipeline also so you know you should Uh, read this uh, from which state to which state they have the pipelines the details you please go through nomaligarh to siliguri so nomaligarh is now under uh, oil india only so it also produces the lpg and so what are the various products that you should know since it is oil uh, this is uh, ministry of petroleum and natural gas so you should know the name of the minister the name of honorable minister of state and prime minister so these names you should know and also the name of the cmd so sri shushil chandra mishra is the cmd of oil india limited and also his background you should be aware then subsidiaries so it has five subsidiaries these are the names of uh, all the five subsidiaries of uh, oil india limited so if you go on the website you will find the details also of that so why this name uh, dig boy dig boy is you know uh, this is a phrase taken from dig boy dig so canadian miners used to english and canadian miners used to tell the people laborers there dig boys dig boys so they used to dig the well and then from there the name dig boy came so dig boy refinery is known as birthplace of oil industry in india and it commissioned it was commissioned on 1901 that is how it is now a uh, list of maharatna companies and Navar uh, maharatna companies which are the maharatna companies in india you should know that iocl and then ongc Uh, bpcl hpcl they are the part of maharatna companies and uh, how do you classify and categorize uh, it into maharatna 
Navratna Oil India Limited is Navratna company and up to it can invest up to thousand crore without permission of government. So if they ask you what do you mean by Navratna and why you will not like to join Navrat Maharatna, you will say sir Maharatna is all about how much financial autonomy a company enjoys. But I am more concerned about the growth of the company and Oil India is the fastest growing company with very high profitability. So that is the reason I want to join it. You can say something like that. So. Uh, you know criteria to become Maharatna, criteria to become Navaratana, those things you should be aware. Privatization of PSU is something which they might ask you, what do you understand by that and should this be privatized or not? So government uh, can go for privatization only of those companies which actually are loss making. So what is the, what do you mean by disinvestment and strategic disinvestment? Please go through this. This also have been provided to you through other documents. And then recently, you know, they are also asking you something which is related to national asset monetization pipeline. There is another scheme of government where uh, they want to, you know, generate some six lakh crore rupees through uh, asset monetization. So that is the uh, program. This program is. And if you go on the site, you will find, you know, Oil India Limited. Ka, what is the main motto or something? Conquering new horizons. Uh, that sometimes they can ask you. And what is the recent? So uh oil india limited you know this tweet from oil india is interesting uh from elephants helping first discovery while ground at dig boy to drones being used today so earlier it was elephant now it is drone so that is interesting uh, tweet by oil india so uh i hope uh, you understood a little bit what i discussed with you take this document prepare this document and uh, many questions related to you know you related to uh, oil india limited and the company uh, can be asked in the interview itself so you should be ready with these questions uh, take this document and visit the uh, website of oil india also so i'm very sure if you uh, go through this the questions the kind of question they will ask you will be in position to answer that thank you